so I have to make sure the home he's going to actually is very adequate for what he needs. When it comes to a special needs dog, you have to find a very special person. Luckily, two compelling candidates recently popped up on Brandon's radar. My name is Alice. I live in Canoga Park with my partner, Chelsea, and I am a veterinary assistant and also a dog worker. We are active, we go to the beach, we go to my hometown, Temecula. We're looking for a dog that's under 40 pounds, gets along with animals because we do have a cat in the family, and we wanna be able to take him everywhere with us. But what makes Alice and Chelsea so special is their willingness to think outside the box when it comes to adoption. We're not looking for the perfect cookie cutter type dog. As long as the dog is on the smaller size, we don't care if if they're older, if they need extra love or extra time and attention, just as long as it, that dog is a good fit with my partner and my cat. With Zeus safely out of the shelter, Brandon has the time to find him the perfect home. But a new setback threatens to derail Zeus's future entirely. Come here, come here, come here. What's wrong? What's wrong? Though Brandon is unable to find any visible sign of injury, his intuition tells him that something is definitely wrong. Come on, come on. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Dr. Nardi. Thanks for meeting me this late. Of course. So this is Zeus. This is Zeus. Hi. Well, I got all the paperwork from the shelter. Um, I know he's got somewhat of a neurologic condition. You know, they're still kind of suspicious that it was distemper. For that, I'll, you know, we'll just kind of watch and make sure he doesn't have any seizures and there's no later effects. But what's going on tonight? Because I know that's not what brought you in. I was just getting ready for bed and suddenly I hear these screams out of him. This is not like a normal scream. This was a serious pain scream. So I checked him out, there's no bites. So there's something going on inside of him. Well, let me take a look at him. His pupils look fine. His ears look good, so I don't think there's pain coming from there. I just want to check to see if he's got any neck pain. Doesn't seem to be his neck, but let me just feel his belly. Oh, yeah, so his bladder is very full. So one of the things I am concerned about is that he could have a blockage, bladder stones, something that's keeping him from going to the bathroom. Let me take him to the back. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get some x-rays and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Okay, so he does have stones in his bladder. Now, they look like they're trying to work their way out. I should be able to sedate him and do a procedure to remove the stones, and hopefully we can avoid any sort of surgery. Then he should be able to go home in a couple hours. Okay. A few tense hours later, Brandon returns for the results. Good news, all the stones have been removed. While I was doing the procedure, I did get a sample, and it turns out that he does have a bladder infection. So I'm gonna put him on an amoxicillin-type antibiotic. So how do we avoid these stones in the future? I am going to put Zeus on a special food. It is a prescription. Basically, what the food does is it balances his, the pH in his bladder. I also want to get him on ProViable. The probiotic is going to help support intestinal health, but I want to go with the tablet for him. I think it's just going to work best. Okay. It's going to be one tablet every 24 hours. I'm going to get your antibiotics up front, and we'll get you set up with the food up front as well. Okay. Okay? Thanks, Dr. Nadi. You're Thanks welcome. You. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hop, hop. 